Today, I ended up going on, well, a walk. <laughs> I decided I wanted to test out my camera that I got him from my mom so several months ago. And I decided why not test it out by going on a walk nearby my neighborhood. It's been forever since I've been over there, and I'm excited to go over there with the camera. And, um... I do want to apologize for the vo the mic peaking at some points, so um, please, headphones users, beware. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy watching. Just got stuff from the 7-Eleven. Time to go to the Dane Park. That school's out. I used to ride this bus back when I was in public school. The tree's gone. This is the street I grew up most of my life on. Ironically, I wasn't born here. It's weird. I'm also going to be going, possibly going to the tree down here. Hopefully. down there. And here's the school that I used to go to when I was younger. Very young though. They changed a lot, honestly. And the school's out. I'm recording this on like, I think a Wednesday. So like, yeah, I wonder. Another thing I just remembered, I took special ed classes here too um, for like three, three-ish years. Um, I had in school, I had to take special ed classes. I took most of them here. Um, I had to go to a special ed preschool first, went to another, when I started school, took um, speech therapy class there. And then at this school, like at, when I was like in first grade, I second half of first grade and moved here. I went to this school. It's weird admitting that I have a special needs. But like the teacher here was very nice who taught speech therapy. So I enjoyed the class. Canal. Can the canal. At the moment I'm in Mesa because of this canal. When I cross it I'll be in Tempe. So, there are shells nearby the canal, and um, I ended up trying to find one when I reached the other side just to show off the canal because I've had people not believe drawing something. I can't get it to focus on the drawing. I apologize for the hideous drawing. The, the park's been very quiet. I don't know how long I've been here for. <laughs> just that apparently there was a party and I'm just listening to the radio on my phone. Because that's something you could do, and it took me, I think, last year to find out I can. I don't understand how it took me that long to realize you can listen to the radio on your phone. I am stupid. <laughs> so I ended up leaving the park because of how quiet it was. Also, the sun was going to set soon, and I wanted to see the animals before I had to head home. This happens very often every time I go to the park. I want to see the animals nearby. There, there are really nice animals. And that also means I have to pass by the canal because... Canal! You have to pass by the canal! 
I don't know why I like the canal so much. I've always liked it when I was younger. And the pretty neighborhood that the animals will be in is just really pretty. The funny thing is, at the house that the camera's pointing to, there used to be a zebra and a llama. But this was a long time ago. I was probably like about seven or eight at the time. So this about happened 10 years ago when there was a llama and a zebra. I can see without trespassing. Wow. Hello, horsies! This one just started coming up. Hi there! <laughs> Hi! Aren't you beautiful? Hi! Showing me its butt. <laughs> the other horse is still over there. Hey. I wasn't expecting to be able to pet a horse. I mean, as I thought all the horses were locked away. Well, not locked away, but like put away somewhere. And like, or somewhere else. But I guess not. So, yeah, I gotta pet a horse. And I hear hooing for some reason, but there's no owls. Aww. Beautiful area. This is where I once tried to see a meteor shower, but the super moon was too bright. Also, there's a cow. <laughs> Just as I said that the cow yeah, moves. And this house has a doggy daycare as well as a whole bunch of goats. <laughs> the goats are adorable. Plus there's also a pig here and the piggy is really really cute. This is the same place that had baby goats on April Fool's days. And you might remember that I posted a YouTube short of that happening on April Fool's Day. Anyways, the goats actually weren't out. All of them were like in the back and somewhere else. I got to see, I could spot some baby goats with their mom at one of the areas, but all of them were just very far away and just in, in the very back. So I couldn't really get close-ups on them. I did get horrible pictures, but like they were still very, very crappy pictures. <laughs> So it was kind of fun going down, technically memory lane for me. I grew up in this area since for like probably like 10, 11 or 12 years now. And that's all the different timings. It's, it's weird, I wasn't born here yet. I grew up here the most. My mom and I agree that this is very sad. 
but it is really fun going down memory lane, seeing all the animals, seeing what has changed and what they have added, and seeing if some things are still the same. I honestly kind of have some bad memories in the local area, however, I did forget a lot of the, those bad memories just by seeing all the animals. <laughs> Literally, animals are probably like good therapy for me. Like, I love animals so much. And, well, I have to ha have to go home now in the video because, well, um, it was like after five, the sun was getting further down. My mom was like wondering where the heck I was, despite I told her where I was going. Um, so I should be heading home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!